I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright with another episode of Tune for you. Today we're going to be talking about cam surge and how to remedy this problem on your large cam car. As an example, we have this beautiful V06 here today uh, that we just did a motor transplant. Uh, it had a fully blown up LS7, devastated pistons in it, um, so there were like no salvageable parts. Uh, they got a whole nother LS7 to us. Uh, we, we sent the heads off to uh, Texas Speed. They gave us back some beautifully ported heads changed up the cam with a bigger cam, valve springs and retainers, uh, kind of normal kind of uh, package for this, and put it all back together. Uh, it is running, but uh, it is on a, a previously existing tune right now. Um, so we're just in kind of break-in stages, but uh, I already have experienced that there is big time surge on the current tune. Uh, so I want to detail how to solve this problem. All right, let's get in the car and do this. Is that another yellow vet behind you? Another yellow vet, yes. Yeah. This one has a turbo on it. Um, yeah. I built that one like ooh, the first year of my uh, business, so pretty yeah. cool to have it back. We're gonna go E85 and more boost and whatnot on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely show you this one behind um, us, but. but. So here's the uh, blown up motor that came from the Z06 that we're working on now. See the cracked, cracked sleeve? We didn't remove any parts. Every bit of this piston is just disintegrated and is down inside the pan. What? Yeah, like that, that's, we pulled the head off and that's what we saw. Wow. No piston. Piston delete mod. Yeah, that's <laughs> called, that's called a uh, new engine mod. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's the new engine. All right, so we're here in the Z06 right now. So what is cam surge for the newbies out there? So cam surge is when you've changed the camshaft in your car it's a lot larger, and, and it's not only just larger, but it's larger sooner, so at a lower RPM. Um, and the duration can be drastically different as well. Uh, so that changes when your engine wants to receive air. Um, you don't need as much ignition timing because it's, it's taking in more air sooner. So you need to reduce ignition timing uh, in that surge area. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is uh, something called exhaust open injection timing so that's when is the injector firing in the rotation of the motor um, yeah. and once you change the cam you've, you've changed that the time that's required for that um, that's part of the reason why a lot of cam cars you'll get that heavy fuel smell um, because they're injecting fuel at uh, not the appropriate time or way too much fuel trying to quell a yeah. uh, surge that really is is not fixed it's not fixed in a lot of the ways that I see being discussed online. Exactly. So the premise of us talking about this fix, though, is that your car is already ready to go and pretty much has a running tune on it. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's definitely important to note because there's a million things that could cause the surge. Uh, yeah, this is under the assumption that air-fuel ratios are in the ballpark. You know, your timing map is in the ballpark. This car already had a tune on it that had been operating for a long time, so we know that it's it's you know okay i checked and made sure there wasn't any crazy uh ignition timing and or anything sinister uh waiting for us um so i know that it's okay to drive around on it is a pure math tune there's a oh, there good bit of buck right there there's a more wow. there's more there and i can feel it probably better than you can, can perceive it yeah yeah um i know it's hard to get through the camera but you can definitely feel the bucking and it'll get into a little window where it just book, 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 book. Oh, there yeah. it goes. It's almost every time you get back into the throttle, you have to anticipate a little buck. And I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to drive it. Uh, it's, it's hard to not uh, stop it from doing that. Like, yeah, I don't want to feel.
feel that and I kind of know how to massage the pedal to <laughs> yeah. get that not to do that but uh yeah it's pretty the driver shouldn't have to do that you shouldn't have to rev up to you know 2000 yeah. rpms to get to get your your cammed car clean you know running clean enough to, seems like to it, move out. the cam surge really affects it at low rpms and, yeah it's yeah. made there it was again yep. you know anywhere anywhere under 2000 and it depends on the cam and uh, you know tons of other variables like say if you have an automatic car and you have a high stall torque converter then that's probably the optimum scenario for a really large cam because that means your stall converter will let your motor get up to the operating range of the cam before it catches um so in a six-speed car it's a bit trickier to get the tune just right especially with the large large cam this is about as big of a cam as you can run um and still kind of have some drivability. Yeah, some drivability, yeah. Feel a little bit. Feel there. that right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, tu that, it's tugging pretty hard right there. That's definitely. It feels bad really for bad. the vehicle. Like, yeah. It feels very unhealthy. Yeah. And it's at such a low load that it, it wouldn't hurt anything probably for a very long time, but it would just add up to extra wear and tear on the motor. Yeah. If I really dip in, it's, it's pretty okay, but yeah. uh, let's say you're cruising the highway. Like we're gonna Whoa, we're gonna okay. jump on the highway right now, yeah. And you're gonna you're gonna see it real badly. There, there, it's pretty awful. Yeah. And then after we're done with this drive, we're gonna have Ethan hop on the computer and show you all the log. Yeah, and what was happening, and uh, why it's bad, and then what we need to do to fix that. So here's a little snapshot from the cruise and log that we just did on the highway. And if you look right here, you see all this uh, saw blade. The white line is our ignition timing, our spark timing, and it man, it is bouncing all over the place. You see it just as we're as we're cruising, we're at uh, 1,400 RPM, 65 miles per hour. So that's that that same spot that we were, and you can see it's just all over the place, continuing on down oscillating oscillating so those are every time we feel that boom, 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 boom that's the timing dipping way down um, this cam cannot tolerate the kind of timing that is 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 demanded here uh, 35 degrees at 1400 rpms because of the profile of the cam we need to reduce this timing here um, and we also may need to adjust the in uh, exhaust open injection timing that I mentioned earlier um, there's kind of some boundaries for that for that timing and I'll, I'll show those in a moment okay so I'm gonna open up the timing map right here and you can kind of see that the previous tune has got some kind of you see the distinct color change there so there's some some odd uh, transitions right there when we view it graphically this actually looks a lot better than most tunes that I see um, but you can see how see how this timing ramps up here and then it comes back down I think this down was an attempt to fix a surge But this timing prior to that needs to go down as well And every all this stuff that's up in here is gonna sit down into this area Yeah, uh, this cam just cannot tolerate the kind of timing that the stock map has in it um, So that's that's what it looks like graphically that that like I said that looks pretty good um, better than a lot of tuned files that I see so what I'm gonna do and this this at first might look kind of uh, lazy but uh, I'm gonna just put a blanket 20 degrees in all everything down there and then I'm gonna massage that in, smooth that in by putting 25 there then we got 30 there um, let's bring this row down to to 25 now we have no major outliers there over here I need to smooth it in as well so let's go grab everything from here up we're gonna move these down to 35 degrees 20 seems to be from my experience 20 seems to be a good number for this uh, area on a couple cars I've gone down to even 15 or 18 degrees in this very low like 1400 rpm that highway cruising that we were doing it might want me to move that down to have a truly buck free smooth driving experience yep. um at some point you're you're slightly compromising uh power and response so we don't want to go that far um first we smooth it out and then i'll add timing back in Slowly. strategically in, until uh until maybe i experience the buck and then come back down um but i know that 
20 degrees is a good starting point. And now we don't have any major crazy ramp ups. And let's see what that, see how that looks now. Yeah. Um, looks like I still got maybe these, these guys right here. Could probably use a little drop down. Let's see what line that is. It's the gray with the solid circle. So 0.48. Yeah, that's just outside of the range that I, that I, yeah, right there. Um, so it looks like, right, is that those right there? Nope, that's a little bit past. That was past where I need it to be. I need to go two RPMs lower than that. So right here and here. Let's go there as well. View that graphically. And then I'm just going to... Oh, there you go. Yeah, so now we're kind of... I need to bring some of those that I brought down back up. But but this is... This should be a, a much better drive now, I believe. Yeah. So what were those boxes that you were talking about? Like the uh, the two check boxes to fix the cam surge to? Something earlier? Um, boundaries. Injection timing boundaries. Um, so, right. so this is the other relevant... Uh, parameter for a cam surge is the injection boundary that's back to that exhaust open injection timing i was discussing earlier um so this has a little bit more variability i'm not going to adjust this yet but i just wanted to show you where that is you know in the fuel in the fuel tab in in the same place with the injectors at the bottom is uh injection timing boundary, boundary. okay so we're not going to touch that yet but for those of you that have large cams, like this, this may be something that you need to touch as well. Okay. All right, so we're back in the Z06. Ethan's about to flash the new tune back on the car. Up before uh, at about 1500 rpms even just revving right here I can give it little throttle and rev right on up no no chopping no yeah. uh, no surging acting proper all right sweet Woo! some similar highway cruising 50 to 60 miles per hour you can see right away look how everything is flat everything is flat it's just dead stable 1600 rpms um let's see if we can come this it's you know i'm moving across real time right here that's like yep. 10 seconds of cruising at 1500 to 1600 1700 and there's no there's no see the white line follow the white line everywhere you see like kind of the artifact of you know that it's it's wiggling but it's not got that jagged that jagged yeah so this is this is a good operation here and i'm also removed another degree or two just in that in that that area where i was saying you know 1200 1300 rpms yep. where i still have just the faintest semblance of that so let's grab these three go down by one more now let's see what that looks like we got no outliers, you know, up yep. here now. So um, it looks like I got two spots. Let me go grab that, come down, grab that, come down. That is now good looking timing yeah, map. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so here is the original ignition timing map. You can see this ramp up and then kind of come back down. And uh, these, are, these are getting pretty extreme with the timing numbers. Here is my timing map. Everything down in this low RPM, low load range has been brought down and smoothed in so that we don't have these abrupt timing transitions. What was happening when you'd see the, on the, the, the saw blade shape was we're bouncing from a, high, from a high timing number 
to a low timing number yeah. because the car is uh, the airflow is is oscillating and because of the cam. Yeah. So we're bouncing this load cell, this load cell, this load cell. So it's going 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, yeah. 20. Um, so we needed to bring all of those together so that even as it moves through the load cells, it's 20, 22, 24, not 45, 22, 45, yep. 22. Like uh, just uh, too big of a too big of a bounce to handle. Absolutely. All right, guys. So we've talked about cam surge, what causes it, and I've I've showed you a couple uh, examples of how to potentially fix that uh, on your car. Um, so just to revisit those, I mean, it's really just, I see a lot of information out there on the internet about a lot of different ways of, of trying to resolve this. And I see a lot of frustrated people as well. And, I, and then I have cars that come in that have been dealing with some issue like that for years. And you know, I made a two minute change on this car, the guy drives it and he's like, oh my God, like that's, I can't believe I've been dealing with this for so long. So ignition timing, moved down and smoothed in, and then exhaust open injection timing adjusted until it feels perfect yeah it really boils down to just those two items yeah and it's just such an important change because it affects the drivability and you just won't enjoy the car yeah, if it has that it can make you hate your car like, yeah, yeah I, I right away when we drove it on that i it was so bad it, it, i don't care how much power it makes if you can't just drive it like normally i mean you have no chance of like talking on the phone for a moment like no yeah it's not, it's not gonna happen yeah. well, well, you should be doing that anyways but you know yeah calls, the whatever you gotta, you gotta. exactly so. well hey we really hope that this video resolves y'all's issues if y'all have any questions concerns or anything make sure y'all comment below yeah i mean uh, I, i'll uh, be happy to answer uh questions and uh, emails even that if anybody feels like they have a particularly uh tricky or uh, problematic issue uh, i mean i'll look over a log you know talk talk to me absolutely well hey guys we really appreciate y'all we'll see y'all for the next episode of tuned boom